Miss Crip Mac, Count Hood. What's happening? Shout out Five Piper Boy Williams, your verified source, Five Battle Rapper Entertainment on Hood. Shout out to everybody. I want to talk to y'all real quick. Real quick, you know what I mean? I do want to say this. First of all, shout out to, to Debo. He did an interview with Beasley on his platform. You kind of you took Norm's whole style. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? It's a shot to Norm's. I see what's going on. But, you know, shout out to, to Debo. I think he is doing really well with his show. He's giving flowers, you know, and he's talking about things that people don't want to talk about, topics that people don't want to touch on. And I think that's dope. And if he continues to do this, his platform may grow. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Debo. He ended up doing an interview with Beasley, right? And he's talking to Beasley about a couple of things that's been going on in the culture. One of the things that's been going on in the culture is that Stumbles basically was, you know, removed from Summer Madness. And he's asking whether or not Surf had anything to do with it. Now, Beasley's response is he's saying... Yo, Surf doesn't have anything to do with it. It's basically a situation where they had an issue. It's an ongoing issue. And he feels like it's not safe for the artists and it's not safe for the fans to be around that situation. You know, so with him dealing with caffeine and having URL as a brand, and he also wants to make sure the artists and the people are safe, it does not make sense for him to go ahead and have this battle happen. So that kind of deflates... You know, what's being said about Surf really being in control of what's going on with the URL and that aspect of removing somebody from the car. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below, but here's my issue with that, right? So Stumbles is saying that he was already about to be booked or he was already booked to battle Kid Slate. I don't know what that means. Like, did Stumbles have a contract? Did he not have a contract? I don't know, but he's going off a of word of mouth. He said he spoke to you know, Smack and Beasley about doing the the uh, match with him and Kid Slade. You know what I'm saying? So he was starting to write for Kid Slade and then all of this happened. If, you know, Surf didn't have anything to do with it, why did you guys go ahead and book or try to book Kid Slade versus Stumbles? That's the question, you know? So it kind of makes me feel like Surf does have something to do with it. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does. Beasley reiterated a couple of times like, yo, sometimes Surf trolls, you know, so y'all tell me what y'all think. Debo also asked Beasley, he was just like, does Surf run the URL? You know, like we looking at the card that's put together. This is a gun titles card. Did Surf have a hand in putting this card together? It's basically what he asking. I'm not saying that, but saying that. And Beasley's like, no, you know, he's saying that, you know, Rock for the most part, you know, he's Rock and you got Swamp who just arguably won the tournament. A lot of people got Swamp beating JC. He did really well, great battles in a short period of time. So he felt like the next move for Swamp would be to maybe get him on a Summer Madness, you know. So that's where that matchup came from. And, you know, Rock has been asking for Swamp for a while. This is not like a recent situation. He's been asking for Swamp. And I guess like BZ just felt like now is the right time to give Rock Swamp. And that's how that, you know, matchup came to be. And then, you know, Sue Surf and JC, you know, that's going to happen. And then you got, you know, easy to block captain. He's been doing very well. So he's to a point to where it's, it's really what the fans want to see him with. You know, who they want to see him battle. They want to see him battle John, John, Calico, whatever. So he's kind of just like, Listening to fans to see what they want to see with these matchups. And as far as uh, Chess and Shotgun Suge, he's been saying that Shotgun Suge has been doing well. You know, so, you know, it would make sense for him to get on the card. They both didn't like the matchup that they had before. You know, so it would be, you know, a better situation to just recreate it. Y'all tell me what y'all think. This is what I think. I think Beasley, he did what a business owner should do. Go on a platform and address the elephant in the room. He did that. I think he did a very good job of it. But this is what I think. You know, I think there ain't no way, bro. Chess versus Shotgun Shook. Shout out to Chess. I rock with Chess. Chess just lost like his last three battles. Besides the Benji Lolo, because whatever don't happen on the URL don't count, right? This is what they say. So Chess has lost versus Jack Boy Main, Charlie Clips, Calico, and he still ends up being on Summer Madness. That don't really make sense to me, bro. I think 
maybe Surf is advocating for these people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take it for what y'all want. But, you know, is Surf handpicking the card? I would say no. Does he have influence? I would say he does. You know, but y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. The fans, you know, to, to say it on Beasley's beh behalf, like the fans have been wanting chess on the card. Regardless of what happened of him losing the last three battles, we've all been wanting him on the card. And I will say this, you know, for the most part, URL right now is kind of trying to book matchups that y'all want to see, you know, so maybe that's the case, you know, maybe they just looked at the energy of what's going on, you know, I know that they were trying to book Rex versus uh, Chess, you know, that didn't happen, you know, and then they ended up, you know, following up by doing this, so y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section, but does this mean that Surf doesn't really run what goes over there on the URL? I don't know, y'all tell me what y'all think, but I've been there! You know, and kind of what I see, I don't know. It kind of looks like to me he he is a very valuable player and he gets treated like a valuable player, you know, when he's there. Does he have any influence? I would say so, you know what I mean? But y'all tell me what y'all think. Could he be trolling stumbles and just saying this and it was a different situation than like what Beasley's saying? It's a safety issue. I'll leave that up to y'all to make the decision on what y'all think. But my personal opinion, once they tell Stumbles that he's about to battle somebody and that battle gets pulled and you got Stumbles talking and making this big, huge situation, you know, because he feels like Surf is the reason why he got pulled off of Summer Madness. I mean, is Stumbles just saying that for nothing? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a lot of people up there on the URL. You know what I mean? But I do want to say this. At the end of the day, the company belongs to Beasley, Smack, Chico, all them. So they determine at the end of the day who's going to be on the card, you know. But I do think that Surf has a heavy influence. There's no way, bro. This is a this is a gun title summer madness. It is, you know. But you also got to look at the other end of it. It's like, yo, Tayrock is just like amazing, you know what I mean? And then you got. Easy to block Captain, undeniable. He just 30, like, goods, arguably. And then you got Surf, crazy performances. And then you got um, Chess, the fans are asking for. You know what I'm saying? So y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Shout out to D-Boy. I do think you're doing really well. I might, I might have to come on there and start some drama. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to shout out to Debo. Shout out to everything he's doing. Shout out to 15 Minutes of Fame. Shout out to the URL. Shout out to Surf. Shout out to Gun Titles. And shout out to EFB. Because this is what I think. You know, I think EFB versus Gun Titles, if something like that was to happen, that might be bigger than Summer Madness. Y'all tell me what y'all think. That might, it might be bigger than Summer Madness. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out. Come rate, subscribe. Think about it. Tay Rod potentially going up against Av. Maybe Danny Myers versus Surf. Maybe, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. They could flip the card. I mean, maybe JC versus Easy to buy. It could be anything. You know? So I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. I do feel like Cassidy versus Freeway, an announcement is going to be coming soon. I'm just saying it, you know, so I know a lot of people don't want to see that. I want to see it. I don't care. I want to see what Cassie's going to do with Freeway and if Freeway is going to be prepared for the match. You know what I mean? But we'll see. You know, time is ticking. You can't keep Cassie waiting forever. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out. Come rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. Summer Madness is coming. Who y'all got winning? Who going to win? I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Who gonna win? I already know who I got winning. Who y'all got winning? Comment down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll be knowing what y'all think. And I'm saying comment, rate, subscribes. Pyro, what you be saying? Comment, rate, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. Wait a minute. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>